Okay, the last section we want to have a look at is a internal section and we're going to look at elevation here and once you get that elevation you'll have this little um, pointer that we can put on here and if we go in it will point to the closest wall in that direction and I want to uh, get first of all looking in this direction towards the stove but I want it to be over there it right in the center there and it's not now there we go we, if we get it there we're pretty good and I'll click on that now what that's done if I hit the escape a couple of times what that has done has created if we go down into our elevations and elevation 1a okay and we can um, we can uh, bring that up and you can see that it's quite wide we're seeing lots of things that's coming in from the side but because it has that crop box around it if we select that we can actually drag that crop box in to wherever we want to go in this case I'm just going to bring it to that side of the, the doorway maybe a little bit more and I'm going to bring this side over to the wall and window on that side and you can see that we can look at the kitchen in that that way again we've still got all these problems with our uh, and I'm going to make this a little bit small I'm going to bring this back down to 50 uh, and I can just modify my footings I can't even see the bottom footing so we'll just bring that one up Again, it's a bit of a pain in Revit that, but uh, it's something you have to do. If we go in and look at fine features, we can see that wall there, and we're getting a view of our kitchen, which we could come in in consistent colours and look at that. So we call that a, a supplementary or interior elevation. Um, if you wanted to go and look the other way in the kitchen, we can do the same thing again if we come back to our ground floor plan and pick elevation again. This time we'll come in and face the other way and we can sh pretty well line that up on top of the other one. Now if it doesn't line up on top of the other one, we can fix that up. But it, that's gone in okay, so I'll hit escape a couple of times. If we can't line it up, if we click on it, we can change it around a little bit. But I, I th you should be able to get it lining up pretty well like that, so that's great. And again, you should have another one coming up here. And what, I would, what I'd call these is, uh, I'd just rename these Kitchen 1 or Kitchen Elevation 1. And we'll just take out that A. And we'll name the other one Kitchen Elevation 2. remove that A as well and okay now if we go on those we can see we've got that view and we've got this view again we just need to tidy this view up a little bit again we'll bring it down to 50 to 1 drag that crop box across and I'm just going to bring it out to show that wall here as well a bit more touch up on the more touch up on those and we're going okay but what we can what we can do too is have that come out a little bit further and that allows us to put in some measurements here which is the idea of having this in the first place we can put in that uh, that this is 1240 high and well in fact we can just undo that we'll just put in this one and then that one and then that one so we've got 1200 and then 40 and we can have our bench top and our floor at 900 and that now shows us some information in that particular uh, elevation uh, that we wouldn't see anywhere else we could put things in like the width of cupboards if we wanted to as well um, but again this is for the exercise and when you concentrate on your final design towards the end of the year I'd be expecting to see some more dimensions in these sorts of things but this for the exercise we just want to know that you can you know where to find that and, and where to put it in and you can put those in the bathroom uh, or any other rooms that you want but at this stage we'll just do the kitchen go on with the next video